What's up guys, welcome back for another video. So today we are gonna rock an experiment in Diablo 3 for all of these sweet, sweet holiday gifts. If you guys don't know, uh, Blizzard is running an event right now to get these holiday gifts and they're gonna give a lot of cosmetics. We went over that in another video, which you'll see on the screen now. But today I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment and I have 23 ancient puzzle rings and we are gonna see how many presents we can get from using all 23 ancient puzzle rings so in the previous video i talked about a couple ways uh that goblins will give you or treasure goblins will give you um they can drop presents and then the other way to get them is to clear greater rifts because the greater rift guardians will drop them now the greater rift guardians is about 50 percent uh drop rate chance so every time that you get one you get one in every two uh, that's not guaranteed, but that's that's the drop rates. Now, the drop rates are unofficial for goblins, um, but if we can somehow give ourselves the best chances and use these ancient puzzle rings and go into the vault and have a chance to get presents from every single goblin that's in there, that would be crazy. Now, it's unofficial how, you know, how big the drop rates actually are, but if every single goblin gives you a chance because that we did find it out that is confirmed it's not just treasure goblins any goblin can give you uh has a chance to drop you a holiday gift present which hell i mean hey i don't have the cosmic wings and i'm really trying to get them uh the event does end next month on the fifth so we need to take full advantage so we are going to take 23 ancient puzzle rings and go into the vault and do this now the strategy behind this, guys, is just just get pu uh, puzzle rings. They have to be level 70, and then we're gonna sanctify them, just like you see on the screen here. Uh, these three are not sanctified because they're already ancient uh, puzzle rings, but you need to sanctify them so that way you get the maximum amount of chances to get presents. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna do uh, one right now, and then we're gonna like speed run some gameplay for you just to see, and we're gonna break down the results at the end, okay, guys? So let's go ahead and rock in here. Let's pop a puzzle ring, transmute it, and let's just go and see how many we can get. Now, we are not going to go in and pick up everything. I'll probably fast forward through all that, guys, but we're just going to see how many puzzle or uh, holiday gifts we can get from cracking 23 ancient puzzle rings. Now, side note before I hop in here, guys, I do want to tell you that, hey, if you have friends, groups, anything like that, this is the most efficient way to grind these. You know, you can do the greater rifts, but... You know, if I have 23 rings and then each person in a party of four also has 23 rings, I mean, what is it? 20, 40, 60, 80, was that set? Was that 92 chances? Like that's 92 volts that you can do between four players to maximize your chances. So definitely do this in groups. I'm just doing this for an experiment. I do have other puzzle rings, but we're gonna knock out 23 and see how it goes. Just to kind of give you guys an experiment of how many, um, you know, presents that you can get. So let's hop in and do one. All right, hee hee! Sweet, we got Stickly. Or Snitchly. Snitchly. We got the Snitchly. We're gonna go through. We're gonna clear the entire level first, guys, and then we'll double back and see on resources. And see how many we can get. And as I said, each goblin has a chance to drop one. It's not guaranteed. The drop rates are pretty low. But this does maximize our chances to get one. And then also, greed, you do not have to do greed. Okay, you don't have to do greed. She cannot drop you a uh, present. So, you know, you, you can completely skip this if you're trying to speed run. If you want to go in and kill greed, by all means, feel free. But we're not going to do that for the purposes of this video. So we are just going to go through. Okay, so let's grab all our gems. Let's see how many presents we got from that first run. Let's see. I'm just going to grab those. Grab the... So not there. That's boots. That's nice. Gems. Okay, so there goes one holiday gift. Let's grab those. Double back. Two holiday gifts. Okay, so we got two so far. That's excellent. Amazing drop rates in just a few minutes too. Okay, so it looks like we got two holiday gifts, guys, out of all those goblins, which is absolutely amazing. From all the reports that I've been seeing, people have been getting anywhere from one to six uh presence inside of these vaults on any given run okay on any given run they're getting anywhere from one to six which is just fantastic i mean even if you're getting just one you're getting all the resources from everything that drops here as well as the presence on top of all that so it's pretty good odds 
now let's skip through and get to the speed run that way you guys can see how many runs we do and we'll see at the end how many presents we got all right guys we are on our very last ring ring 23 let's see what we can get ancient Ooh, man look at all those all those greens let's go give me that streamer loot for the last one give me that streamer loot right i don't think there's any back here seems about right okay so let's just run through we'll run back and see how many we got nice and consumable we gotta love that let's see all these all the death breaths let's see how many we got from this one there goes one two okay so we got two more from this one two more easy peasy Two more gifts boom and boom all right guys so after 23 ancient puzzle rings this is the results we ended up with 10 20 28 total presents as well as two puzzle rings in the roi it's actually really not bad we did 23 so we're just over one to one and a half presents per uh, ancient puzzle ring vault that we open which is actually really cool I'm gonna put up on the screen right now our total results and kind of go over them with you we had three vaults where we had one present we had five vaults where we got two presents we had three vaults that we got three presents and one vault that we got four and then we had an astonishing ten vaults with no presents in them so again guys I want to preface this enough it is all you know rng and the the drop rates for these goblins are really 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 low so just keep that in mind but again if you do do it in parties of four and everybody kind of optimizes their ancient puzzle rings then you're going to get the maximum value but still even with this we had 28 total which is actually still pretty good it's you know just about one and a half per ring which is is not bad when considering everything else that you're getting from all the other resources so in the end it's not very bad at all if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like and comment below let me know how many presents that you have so far this season and let me know if you've been using the ancient vault strategy down below as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace